planning for the future. Futures of bright faced smiling little babies. Oh, so innocent. Asking Santa for an Xbox for Christmas. An Xbox? Do you know what that is? I mean, in my heavens, in my day, an Xbox was an old carton of milk that we no longer needed. <laughs> an Xbox! You get it? Yes! Okay, great. <laughs> I can be funny too sometimes. Oh, but kids today. I, mean, I guess kids today are just as beautiful now as they used to be. A little smarter, perhaps. Maybe a little too smart for their own good sometimes. But we were pretty clever in our day, too. Ah, yes, okay. So, when I grew up in Switzerland, a tiny little village, way, 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 way up in the Swiss Alps. The mountaintops were covered in snow. I mean, everything was covered in snow, really. And that was in July. Oh, it was so cold. And by winter time, oh, it was 20 feet deep in some spots. And, and you never fell off the sled. Oh, well, I mean, for if you did, <laughs> Well, let's just say there were there was a reason that we had large families back then. Someone had always fallen off the sled. And well, because of that, I was the oldest girl in the family. And therefore, I was in charge of cooking. Oh, I made meat pies and apple roasties. Mm -mm -mm. I must say, I was very good. I made the entire house smell like a carnival. Oh, I'll never forget. One Christmas Eve, I... It was the Christmas Eve, actually, yeah. Yes, the Christmas Eve. Uh, Nicholas came. I mean, well, we didn't have mahogany or elm in Switzerland, so, I mean, when he was there with it, and he told us that it was made by elves, we, we believed him. And he would go come wassailing every winter with his eight famous reindeer steering him along. Oh, I swear, they rode so fast together, you would swear they were flying. Oh. 32 legs working in perfect tandem. Oh, and they would fly, they would fly over that snow and ice like shooting stars over a skyline. Oh, it was such a sight to behold. I mean, of course, now he uses rocket fuel because, well, those reindeer have long since pa retired. Yes, they've retired. Um... <laughs> I mean, the gifts that you see nowadays are nothing like the ones that you see now. I mean, I mean, the Xbox, pfft, we didn't have one of those. I mean, obviously, but I mean, back then he gave trinkets, really. But on my 14th year, I got a beautiful blue scarf. Oh, it was a crochet, it was a crochet scarf with the word Danka written on it in yellow. Danka for what? I had wondered. Mm. But I could tell that he had hand-stitched it. Look, he took such care with all the lettering. I could tell it was very, it's very, very precise. It's very neat, actually. He has very sloppy handwriting, so I was very surprised. But 
had to know why he had written Danka on my beautiful blue scarf. So the next Christmas, I decided to wait up for him. And I baked, oh, I baked the most delicious gingerbread cookies my fingers would allow. I mean, oh, I baked hundreds, thousands cookies even, I mean, maybe. I mean, it was actually really more like 20, but I mean, it felt like I was baking for a lifetime. Oh my God. Oh. And my sister, she milked the yak and it yielded the most delicious and frothiest milk that we had ever tasted. <laughs> it was all I could do to keep young, growing Argyle from drinking the entire vat. I mean, I, he was a very, very hungry boy. He was, he was very tall. <laughs> but I couldn't have him drinking all of Santa's yak milk. So I sent him and the other children off to bed and I laid out my delicious gingerbread cookies and the frothy yak milk, of course, because who can resist yak milk? And then I hid behind a cupboard. So I was waiting behind the cupboard and I, when Nicholas came in and he wiped off his snowy boots on the carpet. And then I noticed that he had a package that was wrapped in gold. Actually, I think it's still lying around here somewhere. And he had a package that was wrapped in gold. And I, I of course, couldn't see how far, that far from away. So I leaned in closer to see who it was for. And I mean, he had other packages, of course, too, because he's Santa Claus, but <laughs> I leaned in closer to see. And just before he set them down, he let out a mighty laugh. Ho, 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 as you all know. But then I watched him, hold on, let me tell you. He scarfed a dozen cookies in one second, flat. I, to this day, I have never seen someone eat so fast in my entire life. Oh, and I mean, you, you see him now and you understand where all those cookies went. But oh, was he handsome then. Mm. Barely had a beard. And he was skinny as a sleigh hitch. Mm. He was the Burt Reynolds of our day. Believe it or not, he had a centerfold. <laughs> mm. Just breathtaking. Mm. Anyway, where was I? Ah, uh, yes, so. So he had the package wrapped in gold and he scarfed down the cookies and then he guzzled down the yak milk like, like it was water. And then he let out a huge, huge belch. <laughs> what do you say? Excuse me. There you go. Anyway, but Santa belched and I said, oh, I cried. And then he turned around to me with a start and I I was busted at that point, so I crept out from behind the cupboard, and I said, uh, uh, I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to, and then he turned around and he looked at me like a reindeer in the moonlight, just, <laughs> he said, uh, oh, I, I, I hope these cookies were for me, and I said, oh, of course they were, I, I baked them myself, and he said, oh, and, and the yak milk, was that for me too, and I said, oh, oh, yes, of course, everything was. Now, please, sit, sit, you must be exhausted. I said, well, that is most kind of you, Miss Greta. That's my real name, by the way, Greta. And he said, that's very kind of you, Miss Greta. I finished all my houses, but I saved the best for last. And then he handed me, he handed me the gold package. And he said, Mr. Nicholas, please, uh, this is gold. And he just said, open it. Mm, so I did, my fingers trembling, and inside <laughs> was the most beautiful golden candle that I had ever seen. Oh, and the oil smelled of frankincense and myrrh. And then I said to him, but, but, but please, Mr. Nicholas, I, I don't know how to dunk you. And he said, oh, please, no, call me Santa. And he said, it is for I to dunk with you, for there is more gold in your eyes, more myrrh in your breath, more frankincense in your skin than all the banks of Egypt. 
and I see the glimmer of the light of God in ch children's eyes when they smile, and I see it all the time in yours. I'd give anything to spend a lifetime with you, Greta. That is, if you'll have me. And then he got down on a bended knee, and he pulled this one out. I, oh, naturally, to my surprise, he, first of all, here was St. Nicholas, the man with the hottest sleigh in town, and he had the biggest rock I have ever seen. So, what, what did I do? I said, I will. And he said, plus your cookies are amazing. <laughs> I know. And then I helped him off his knees, and I brushed some gingerbread off of his coat. And said, oh, by the way, I'm sorry that I belched before. I, I didn't realize that you were up. And, and I said, no, 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 I understand. I'm sorry. For the yak milk, it's very gassy. I understand. And, and then he cut me off. And, and he kissed me. Oh, my God. It was the first time I had ever been kissed in my entire life. Oh, it didn't taste like belch at all. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, it tasted like honeymead. And a little bit of gingerbread, of course. Oh, it's wonderful. Anyway. And the rest is history. That's how I met your Santa Claus. Thank you. <laughs>